All right, well, my name is Liam Burroughs. This is my IB year two art exhibition, well, mini art exhibition. Um, I will start with my story now. So my story, well, my theme for my IB art is legends and mythology. And I love legends and mythology from Rick Riordan's um, Percy Jackson series, Greek mythology, to Norse mythology with Thor and Loki, to Chinese mythology with dragons, to Japanese mythology with um, the demon Oni, with um, the Okami wolf, with the Tori gate. And um, every piece here follows um, the journey of one adventurer and the rebirth of a calamity, or how one calamity leads to the rebirth of peace. So the beginning of the story is one curious adventurer going into a dungeon, a cave, a mystical cave filled with wonders and mysteries, none of which are of the light essence. The next piece follows the adventurer going deeper into the cave, which finds the demon Oni mask. Uh, the demon Oni mask is worn by samurais as a sign of power and Fear, the demon Oni, um, is a mystical and uh, mytholo mythological being in the history of Japan. This ancient artifact rests over the top of a well of light. Um, the piece contrasts each other. Um, a second digital piece, um, and the digital, the mask represents possession or a call to darkness, which is the title of the piece, which invites the adventurer to go closer to the demon mask. The third piece is inspired by Vincent van Gogh, an assignment, and uh, another digital piece, a close-up of the mask, with um, the Vincent van Gogh sky around it, symbolizing um, kind of a madness, or um, a maddening feeling that one would get when the mask is worn, showing that the mask is one of possession and evil. Um, the next piece, a pen and ink piece, um, called The Fallen Warrior, which is the adventurer now corrupted by the mask, wearing the mask and harboring evil in its body, its essence, wanting to kill or attack anything in its wake, and that it does. Uh, further in the cave, it manages to kill the Norse god Loki, Fenrir, which is a scratchboard piece that I did mixed with um, some paper mache, and it depicts the god being slain by the sword uh, from the adventurer which leads to the rebirth piece, which is titled The Guardian. This is my biggest digital piece, and took me a very long time, and um, this piece is really large, filled with a lot of mystical elements and a lot of elements from my other pieces as well. Um, the beginning, of, well, the majority of the piece centers around the dragon. The dragon is from Chinese and Japanese mythology mixed with each other, with a little mystical spin with the glowing horns with power, and the flames above the eyes, and the beautiful gold coming out of the fur, with the beautiful scales running around the dragon. It makes it feel alive, and the dragon has such an imposing figure. It is um, supposed to be the guardian or overseer of the spirit world which the wolf is now residing in. So the wolf is being rebirthed in the spirit world. And I chose more cooler colors because I think that seamless water and sky, what I've usually seen in photographs and um, fantasy worlds, is the most beautiful and mystical like, thing I've ever seen. So I'd like to replicate it here with a almost seamless water that the wolf is standing on being greeted by this gigantic dragon with planets, comets, stars, lightning all falling around it with the symbol of power that the wolf is now in a much bigger world than it was before, and it's in a much transformed space. Which leads to my first ever digital animation, which is of the Flames of Rebirth, which the guardian dragon uh, guides the wolf into a whole rebirth and new life as it's coming to life um, in the flames. Um, which leads it to the next piece, the Tori Gate. This is done in printmaking, which is heavily inspired by Japanese, um, in Japanese mythology and uh, history, um, Tori Gate is a really important um, piece and symbolizes the gate between two worlds, the real world and uh, spiritual world. And so this gate that I'm using is symbolizing the portal to another world, or two other worlds in fact, in my uh, exhibition. Um, in the middle of the gate, it is the Great Wave of Kaganawa, which is another printmaking piece, um, very popular in Japan. And this is to symbolize um, a portal and a passageway that the, guard, um, the dragon is leading the wolf to, and it's going through two different worlds. The first world is the dreamscape, 
um, grounded in reality, and it's similar to my Guardian piece with the cooler colors and not so seamless, but more fantastical sky, um, which I'd like to categorize as um, Dreamscape, which is what I titled this, which is the one of two worlds that the garden has laid passage to. And the last one is Arcadia, um, inspired by um, another seamless um, waterscape and um, Atlantis from the Bahamas. I'd like to tie in my own culture to my art pieces with a hint of mythology as this piece is called Arcadia, which is to symbolize the final destination that the wolf has reached to, from the evil calamity to the peaceful and tranquil end. Um, the constellation in the top left is the Pisces constellation, which is to give it a little bit of mythological flair, but to mainly keep it in the realm of um, representing the country and where I came from with Atlantis and how it is also in the mystical world, as it's so beautiful at times, especially at the sunset. And that's where my exhibition ends. Thank you very much. Wow. I just Can I ask again. you a few questions? Sure, go for it. You said these were digital? Yeah. Um, what do you mean by digital? So digital art paintings on Photoshop with um, brushes, techniques, and et cetera. Um, over the past two years, I've developed my skills to, in order to create these digitally. And these were printed and stretched on canvas. So I was drawing with art tablets. That's also digital up there. So it's, it's done computer yeah. generated, and then you've stretched it. On canvas, yeah. Oh, good. So it actually, it doesn't. It feels like a painting. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, that shot. And then this one over here, you said you did. Pen and ink. Pen and ink? Yes. OK. And then um, scratch board for this one. So how does that work? So scratch board is um, a black paper that you get an exacto knife with, mm -hmm. and you start cutting away. Right. And whenever you cut away, you get small bits of white. And the, the more you cut away, the brighter it gets, or the more abundant the white becomes. Mm -hmm. So I have to cut out all the fur everywhere. And so. So did you start as like a sketch, and then you start? Um, I had the idea in my head. I mainly just cut it out just from my head. Without a sketch? Yeah, without a sketch. Yeah, the, the other sketches were like really small and like didn't have that same right. portions, and so. Oh, right. Yeah, they're just from it. Cool. Awesome. Okay, and explain. No, first this one. This animation? Yes. Well, this took me, uh, well, this took my computer a very long time, my poor computer. Um, I was trying to learn animation. Um, a very, it's not very uh, detailed, but um, for my art piece, I wanted to symbolize something very simple because the wolf is being reborn. So I wanted to have kind of like um, Lord of the Rings kind of ring yes. and the ring of fire coming out of it, symbolizing a rebirth, like a phoenix almost. Mm -hmm. And so um, I did a fire simulation on a program called Blender. Um, it didn't take very long, but it, it was like, uh, I wanted to be simple, but effective. Right. And um, my computer couldn't handle it anymore. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And this one is printmaking. Printmaking. So okay, explain. There's something called a lino cut, which mm -hmm. is um, similar to wood, in which you cut away um, out of the wood and lino cut, um, and then you would get a paint roller, roll it up, and then um, put the paper on top of it. All right. Well, thank you, Liam. No, thank Excellent you very work. much. I appreciate well, yeah. the uh, the viewing. Really do. Getting a lot of people I, here. I think you're good. Thank you. I would like to make sure also. Come in, Mr. Cooper. Yeah, I want to come in. Are you stuck to that? Yeah.